Channel 3 is the future. Welcome, crew, to What Are Your Three, a Channel 3 podcast that takes a member of the Channel 3 community under normal circumstances. But guess what? We're not going to miss another week. We had a cancellation. Ray said we're winging it, baby. We are winging it. So I'm just going to shut up and let introduce Ray. What's going on, everybody? Yeah, we had, you know, we're going to have a show here and was just thinking about what's going on in life currently for the Southern folk, at least. The Southern and, and I guess some Central-ish people, because I know Jedi's kid uh started back at schools which i believe that means dennis's kid probably started up or starting soon but the south is starting school yeah all Uh, but all but the very northeast i think at this point right it's the north the northeast likes to wait until after labor day which is totally fine it makes a lot of so much sense but work is starting down here school starting which means work starts for me and i'm no longer um gonna be around (laughs) during the middle of the day anymore so we're thinking, thinking tonight to talk about how does gaming change? What what does a change in gaming style happen when when school and work and kids and everything else uh, starts becoming part of the equation again? And we're, so we're gonna go back and forth here, talk about some kind of like the changes in gaming. And I gotta I gotta start right away with um, Halo trilogy because I started. So I'm going to Halo Halo One really because I'm that's the one I'm on. I'm still on one. Uh, I I played. I want to say I played the first level, or yeah, I played the first mission. And I I think I finished the second mission. Maybe I'm like midway through the second mission. I can't remember. But I never played these, and I'm playing them on the Steam Deck. Steam Deck is the way I'm playing these games now. And I gotta put it like this: my my gaming becomes 30 minute segments now that work starts, and those 30 minutes occur from when work ends to the drive home. My uh, my wife and I have we have our agreement. She does the work driving since we work in the same building, and I don't like to be up early in the morning. So she drives us to work. Usually, I'm asleep in the car driving to work, and then she drives to home, and that's my thirty minutes that I will play a game before we get home, and then it's time to tutor and deal and have the kids as well. So that's 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 game number one. Do you do the power, like your power nap pose where you do like the power triangle in front of your face? Like I've seen, I actually like, I, I, I go all out and like my students know and like teachers know, cause like my wife's taking pictures and like showing it. Like I like bring a blanket into the car, air is on, you know, seat tilt back. Cause I, I mean, I could fall asleep anyway. The sleep is, it's not an issue of going to sleep. I just, it's just, I stay up late, um, playing games and doing stuff, but i Blanket, knockout, thirty minute nap, ready to go and get to work. That that's, I mean, almost daily. That's that's how my day starts. But right, uh, well, I'm gonna, I'm going to jump in with one if that's okay. Tell me. Because I've been I've been promising and I have it downloaded, and I don't know how it's going to work. But like my switch is going to be dedicated to Persona Five Royal for one info cynic. I can't leave him alone on the island anymore. I I want my RPG action. I think that the fact, like the dungeons, the days, they're kind of contained. So I have clean cutoff points that aren't going to take me two hours at a time. So I'm I'm optimistically going to say that's going to be the case. So when your kids, what, how does gaming schedule change once kids go back to school? So like right now I'm in charge of like, I'm on the, I'm on the dad side. I'm, I'm Mr. Mom on the side of things. So I get them up, pack them up, get them off. Now, like full disclosure, I, I never know what's going to happen with my son in a given day. If something goes horribly south and I've got to drive him in or I've got to I've got to maintain him. I don't know. We'll see. I'm doing some more stuff, helping volunteering out at their school and things like that, too. So school hours may be more just taken up, but I'm trying to be I'm trying to be more available before and after uh, school specifically for them. Um, so my plan is like, depending on what happens with what I'm doing up at the school, I'd like to keep the marbling going. I'm, I'm hoping that's the case. We'll see. I don't know. Um, but so like it's get the kids up, get the kids home and just like maintaining them and 
their busy production schedules. Like my daughter, well, I, I say production, like my daughter, it's literal. She's, you know, she, they're, they're doing the Wizard of Oz for their fall musical at her, her little theater company she's in. And then they're doing six, a, a, a youth or teen edition of six. And I emphasize youth or teen edition because anybody who's, <laughs> I don't know if you're familiar with what that is, Ray. Um, oh yeah, it is, it is. Yeah, so it's it's Lovely not movie. a very family friendly musical, no. we'll say I, at all. I, the teen teen versions of those shows, I always they just they're always like hilarious. That oh my my, <laughs> her first was Mean Girls. The first play she did was Mean Girls. So did they, did, did that they was wild. Do teen, did they have to do a teen version of Mean Girls? They there is a youth version of there is a the junior version. version and there's a teen version and then there's a full version. There's no kids. Ver- so there, there are different tiers for these theater things. There's a kids version, which is what my son usually does, which is like a like a half hour condensed show. OK, the, sure. The, the youth and teen versions are like an hour to an hour and a half and some censorship in there. And then there's uh, the full full versions of it. So there's that. I think my my son might be doing Elf for his targeting wow. around Christmas time. We'll see. We'll see with that. But. Your son uh, just finished the show, though. He just, yeah, he just, he just had his frozen. My daughter had frozen a few weeks ago. He had frozen this weekend. So we're, that's why we're also recording late anyway. That's why, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Is that we're, coincidence? We're, Did we're they happen to have the same show. I'm guessing. So with the theater stuff, like you have to buy the rights to be yeah. able to put on the production. And Disney's very structured with their rights. Like you can only get them certain times. It's like the yep. VHSs mm-hmm. were. They're in the. They're in the vault. Yeah, the vault. I think yep. Frozen just got unleashed to the world for like school production type stuff. So I'm guessing both theater companies just jumped on it uh, at that point in time. But, yeah, I don't know if people. I don't know if people realize that when if they go to shows and like, man, why'd they pick like this random show to do? It's like, well, because those are the only ones you can buy that year why, to do. Yeah. But, why are three high schools doing Bye Bye Birdie this year? Because yeah. that's one of the packages that's available. <laughs> that's available. I mean, we did. We did my. Uh, my freshman year, we did Titanic the musical. They, I don't even know if I don't even know if anyone knows that they did a musical version they, of Titanic. I only know because it was one of the ones my daughter did. And my wife is very in tune with the Broadway theater scene, so it's yeah. No, it's a, unfortunately I do, and I can't remember somebody somebody who did that did another big musical. I can't remember what it was. I don't know if that was like the greatest showing people or somebody else, but like it's a it's a thing. It's not just like somebody did like somebody important did the Titanic musical. But we're okay, not here I, for I, one of your three musicals though. <laughs> So anyway, we could do one of your three musicals. Dan, so I, what's your top so musical? I, so I say all this to say I'm doing a lot of Mr. Momming at the moment. And uh, yeah. So anyway, but, but Persona 5, that is my attempt here. I'm hoping that the school schedule of the game will work out for like digestible bites of like kids are having a snack or like I'll be sitting at my daughter. You know, my daughter's rehearsal for one thing will be like an hour. So I just hang out in the. Like it's a business center. They have their studio mm-hmm. in. So like yep. I just hang on the studio, uh, you know, in the in the business center, and, and I'll you know do some channel three stuff on my laptop, or uh, or I'll I'll bang out a game or something. So I'm hoping uh, hope, hoping that's gonna be the case, and, and Infocynic won't be alone anymore. I know though he's not alone. There's the the V's of the world and whatnot that have played it as well. But there's a couple of people who have posted listened. about it recently as well. Now you have to be specific. It's this Persona Five Royal. Royal. Right? Oh yes, yeah, so, yes. I, I'm explicit. Persona Five Royal. It was on sale in the Nintendo store a couple of weeks ago, and got it for a, an extremely reasonable price. Whatever it was, like I can't, I, I can't not get it. Uh, even though I think I probably have access to it on the PlayStation, but. The, the remote PlayStation access isn't always the best. I, I mean, if I had a PlayStation portal, that's the case. But I'm not getting a PlayStation portal. So, anyway, how much? How much? Uh, how much use is the Aces Rogue getting these days? It it gets the use. That's usually my son's therapy device when I'm at his ther- when I when his uh, when I'm at his therapist's office in that waiting room. That's when the uh, the PC games come out, and uh, I, I usually do the uh, the Epic. So I I'm. Uh, I'm getting into Remnant 2 with the Steam. Uh, oh my god! Steam I still have that. There, so. I still have that code. I just haven't opened it. Yeah, that's why I banged. I banged that code out. It's in there. I'm, I'm. I'm starting to get into that one there. It's hard. It's hard to get into these big games, like to pull off the time. I mean, because like, like I played Elden Ring, and when I played that, I didn't play any. I didn't play anything else. It was like eighty. It was like eighty something hours. I didn't touch another game. But and, and you so have to. That's what I keep saying with like you that. Have and Bal- to like, to it. Baldur's Gate is just there, and I'm I'm never going to play. I'm going to die before I play Baldur's Gate because 
I I need at least an hour and a half to get in the mood for that. And Elden Ring would be the same thing. Mm-hmm. Like Elden Ring was just on some obnoxious sale or promo or something. And I'm like, I'm not going to do this because I'm never going to have the time like, to dedicate to it. And like, I don't mind dying in games. I don't mind playing hard games, but Elden Ring is just like the, the souls born games. I, I don't have the time for the soul crushing element of that. Well, it's also like, it's also like when we do time trials, Right, you, you can't time trial for like 10, 15 minutes because you have to warm up to it and, and get into the feel. Or I mean, even even I, I'm playing Mega Man X3 right now. Even that, I need to know that I've got a solid hour because I'm gonna screw up the platforming. I, I'm in like I'm on the, the last stages. Like I beat all the boss bosses and I'm going through those like you know the, the three final stage levels, whatever. I need an hour because I know I'm gonna screw up this platforming three times in a row before I finally get to the boss and start figuring things out. Yeah, that, that you gotta have the timing right for the jumps. You know which weapons. Like you gotta be able to yeah. change quickly and remember not have to be like, all right, I need five minutes to remember which weapon does what against who. And Mega Man's armor, Mega Man as just like as a robot is the most fragile robot of all time. the The, the whole like landing on spikes destroys your whole level. Like, even Sonic lives. Even Sonic can survive a shot in lava if he's got a ring. Can you tell me Mega Man with this souped up armor? He, he can't land on a spike once? Have you dealt with a diamond bit drill tip? I never read those as just spikes. I'm reading those as like drill bits down there. That's not they're, they're active. Whatever it is, it's just it's it's ridiculous. Mega Man, you know, if if his toe touches an enemy, it's it's a show. And I and listen, and I love Mega Man. Like I'm really enjoying X3. I, I like three more than two. Like, I actually did it. I didn't care for two, especially the whole like finding the pieces of zero. And if you, you know, if you miss out on it, all of a sudden now you don't get all the pieces. X2 kind of like that piece of finding things in levels kind of messed with me a little bit. So I'm enjoying three more than two because of that. I'm it's considering whether you take I'm leaving you alone I, on the island. I'm for. considering whether I like three more than one, actually. Though I will I, say the boss. I would, I would agree three. I like three more than one, but I like two. I, I might have to play three again. Two was just the one I had the most access to and played. I, I'll it, was, say it was three, one or two I'm playing two. Three was like really hard. I was struggling. And then I got the boots. And then once you get one power up that will be another boss, the X3 bosses are very exploitable. Like Once I got one, it was over. Every I, mean, I took out four bosses in, in 30 minutes. Yeah, it's like Mega Man, the original Mega Man 2. I always went for Metal Man had a hard level, but if you beat him first, it was the easiest path through the game. The game like you could just wreck you could wreck the game at that point. So yeah, I, I feel that. All right. Before I jump to my second game, which I'm very excited about, I took like quick back to Halo 1. Oh, couple, I know. I got you. Oh God. No, it's okay. Couple things. I just gotta I gotta touch a couple of things on it. I think I posted about it once, but I have to talk about it. Um I was playing with the enhanced graphics and I didn't realize I was playing with the enhanced graphics. Like that's just, that's it just looks like how I, your memory I, remembered it. I, I just, I never really played the story because I didn't have X, I didn't have that original Xbox. I, you know, I probably watched a friend play a little bit, but I really don't remember it. I don't know the game. I don't know the story super well. So I'm like, I'm excited to play them. And I'm, so I'm playing and I'm like, man, this is what the games look like in, in 2001, you know, 2002. This is amazing. And then I, how is the Xbox this, not bigger? <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is crazy. Like, and then I saw like the switch. You can switch it to, to classic graphics, like with a button right away. And I was like, Oh, Oh, this is what it looked like. This is, it's a very gray. It's actually, it's amazing. The whole, the, the enhanced graphics is grass and trees and all the, and like the life, and then you switch it, and like a tree that's full of leaves in the original was a dead tree. It's it's yeah, crazy. It's, it's not just that. It's just even like the the Master Chief and the other characters or the the they're blocked. They enhanced all of that. It's all a lot. Yeah. lot it's only a few degrees off of Nintendo sixty four. Like it's, it's not that it's, far ahead. It's really crazy. Actually, I didn't I didn't realize it's, it's when you, gray. It's blocky, and I'm playing with them though because I kind of because you still get the sound effects even the enhanced version. The sound effects are very, like, I just think of GoldenEye. To me, the GoldenEye sound effects are basically the gun sound effects that we use in every game after that. The explosions, the grenade throws, 
the the music like i listen to the music and i and i think oh i get why mountain dew became the drink of of like gaming in early 2000s like i like i hear it and that's what i i want a mountain dew and i don't even care for it like it it just it just that's hits. some weird Pavlovian stuff you I mean, gotta it, work. You gotta you gotta de- go through some you. deprogramming, man. Go go play some Halo One. Like don't just listen to you. go play the game and you see the, the bullets, the way they're hitting the enemies and having and it, like no visual effect on it. You're just you hear the, the effects and you're hoping that you're hitting the enemy enough. And I'm telling you, like you just you're gonna want to pound a mountain dew down real fast. I need to go back and look at how gray the graphics were because it's funny, like Ray slapped it's together. Stunning. You know, we, Ray, Ray and I do notes for this, right? There's always no, and like Ray slapped together notes in a in a DM of like I want to do this in like ten minutes. I'm like okay, and he made a note about how great OG graphics were, and I wasn't even like piecing together when I glanced at this. You were talking about just Halo because we're coming out of we're finally coming out of like a grayscale era of gaming. I feel like that Skyrim was the lowest point of. <laughs> I, no, I feel like yeah, and, it's a different. It's flat. Oh That's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's very flat. Like I said, it's dead. It's a, dead. It's, it's different dead. than just gray. The wildlife in the enhance is there. Like you can see, wow, wow. This look at the look at this biome. Look at look at this planet was supposed to be. Even the halo, like the you know the actual ring that's in the sky. Uh, when you switch from enhance to OG, the placement in the sky is actually different. So like the enhance moved where it was because the perspective looks better. The moon is bigger in the original graphics. It's like it's very interesting. They've actually they fixed the perspective something. You could tell how much they couldn't do, and like and how much they were just kind of pushing with this game. See everything I've seen for the the upgraded versions. I have it. You know, I, I probably have to add that into the mix for for the uh, the Asus timeline because you 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 rightly pointed out the Steam Spring Sale or Summer Sale. I mean, uh, that was what like five bucks for the trilogy. Yeah. Or, oh or yeah. The Master Chief Collection. Like you sure. couldn't not. You couldn't not for the sake of having video game history not get it then. But like not again, I Halo and Halo 2 I had access to. Like my my, my brother lived with me in an apartment as I was finishing college and he was starting college. He had the Xbox and like what you're describing is just how my memory is of it. So I can't wait to see what the OG graphics look like by comparison because the the enhanced graphics are just how my memory works for it. Like mm-hmm. everything in my head is Unreal Five. Like Super Mario yep. sixty four is is just Mario Odyssey graphics until I go back and look at it. And that's probably it's, what's going to happen here. It's absolutely it's absolutely amazing. Speaking about Unreal Five, they Disney last night in that uh in their showcase dropping I mean, elbows. They, oh my! And they keep talking about it. Like Kevin Feige was basically like, "Yeah, no, we're t- we we used Unreal Five stuff in our movie." Like we like we're using this this stuff to for movies now. We've completely gone full circle, where video game graphics are so good that you want to watch that instead. And he's like, yeah, we're building stuff here, and they're taking up a lot of stuff because I know there's some indie, in indie developers, um, streamers, whatnot, building games who are like, we don't have enough assets in Unreal Five because like Fortnite is like legitimately just using them all. And they don't they don't even have enough to give out to others to make stuff. Like when I even when I see Chris just make you know his custom his custom uh, maps, which I played the new storm one that that went big for him recently. Very fun map. I recommend playing it. It's like I don't even know how he gets enough stuff to put in it because he put a lot. Because they're saying like Disney's just sucking it all up, and they they're <laughs> they're going hey, to do. They spent so a lot much. more money than anybody else did on it. <laughs> they did, and they're clearly using it. Very, very excited for that. Yeah, That's right, right down to hey, this exclusivity of all of our skins you got locked up in the vault. No, 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 we're done with that. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> we're Disney. We'll show you boys how to do vaults properly. That's a hundred percent Disney. Yeah, saying, there's there's no question of the timing of that. <laughs> the week before this D twenty three Fortnite uh, yeah. Doom stuff coming out. Yeah. No, and no, I, no. I, I, by the way, no, no, no. <laughs> by the way, listen, if you don't get it now. You know, in a year and a half, it's cool. Like you can, you can still get it. We've been doing Which, vaults since we put Disney's head in a cryo chamber in a vault. We we'll, we'll show you boys how to do vaults. And it makes sense with the collabs, right? Because Fortnite, when it was all original skins, you know, it was like, yeah, you know, we're not bringing it back. This was the original skin of the season. You you were here, great, you got it. And then they put Spider Man. I think Spider Man's really the, the, the whole first the whole Marvel thing. thing. Yeah, 
but Spider-Man came before. Spider-Man and Deadpool came and Wolverine. No, Wolverine was there. Spider-Man and Deadpool were before that full-on Marvel season. Yeah, and like my son was four. He get he gets upset because he's like, I was I was like four. Yeah. How am I? <laughs> you like guys barely let me play it when I'm this age. Like, why would you? How am I going to get yeah. that in time? Exactly. So they didn't know what they were doing, and and I, I don't know if they knew they were going to get so many, and then they did an entire Marvel season. You know, and like I've you know, Storm's there. You can't get Storm. You can't get Groot. You can't get Mystique. Wolverine. They just you know they put the new version of it out, but that original costume I have, you you. You had to like battle. You had to fight Wolverine, who was super tough, to to like unlock that skin. There's there's like so much that they, I don't know. I guess they just have to make. I actually think Smeagol's ideas is, is the right way. You you can just make the like the extra battle pass stuff exclusive. Like, hey, we're not going to give you the fancy versions, but like the originals, we'll throw back in the shop from time to time. Like, I think it actually makes sense. All that spurring from Halo to move. <laughs> All right, now my actual second game on my list here. Uh Prince of Persia, the Lost Crown uh, DLC. They they are releasing their first paid DLC because they gave us a free DLC with the boss run and they added the fast travel, better options and they did all this stuff and they gave us all these platforming levels which I'm still working through because they're ridiculously difficult. Um and now they're going to give us this new story. I don't know where the story goes cuz Without spoiling it, I felt like the game finished pretty solidly. Like you, like you did the game, you went through, and you you finished, and life is gonna move on. But I mean, I it's it's my favorite Metrovania right now. So whatever story they go with, I'm I'm in. Hopefully, it's just like a contained story. Like when they did the 2018 Spider Man, they they did three DLCs that were like its own three episode story, basically. And I'm hoping it's just I, something like that where it's like not. Not we're shoving something in the middle of the game because that's what I hate most about DLCs. But listen, you want to give me another, you know, thirty percent of a game? Go for it. I think they can because the whole concept of it is you're in a mountain where time gets all mixed up. Some people are traveling, end up traveling quickly through it. Some people are phasing in and out of different parts of it. So it's you know, it's time travel. You can kind of be like, yeah, here's here's another section of the time traveling mountain. Go deal with this problem. Like it. Yeah, here's it's, here's it's a there. black hole pocket in the middle yeah. of yeah Einsteinian physics in the middle of uh, <laughs> in the middle it, of it's, it. It's there. It's there. You can do it. I feel like I'm super powered up though. Like I I have everything. So I, I'm interested to see how if like if how tough they make it. Their difficulty levels are very hard. I played it on hard. There's a level above that, and and like they're t- they're definitely tough. Like it'll be a good challenge. I'm excited for it. Steam Deck, even on Ubi- using Ubisoft app works fine. It's on sale, Steam Deck right now though. Get it on Steam. It's like twenty three dollars. It's amazing. Go get it. All right, I'll take the the second game opportunity to shout out Super Mega Baseball Four. I pointed out this week. I saw in my memories that I think I respawned a post from Dos Andres a year ago. I think it was when the game came out. He's like, "Yo, this this game's pretty good." And finally, was he playing like the, four or th- was he playing four? Or he was three? playing four. He was playing four. Yeah, it is an old game. It's, yeah, it's not it's, new. Like this is we, we've hit the one year. It's like in its sales cycle now. Yeah, and they're not updating it. They 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 basically said we're not doing anything. Well, yeah, because they they took that team that put it's like a sub, you know, it's like a company that EA bought. Yep. Yeah, and they shoved them on another project. Like this didn't do enough. We're going to just shove you off to the side. And yeah, you know, we're not talking about the, you know, we're we're, you know, two thirds of the way through the baseball season. We're past the All Star break. We need to update the rosters. Like no, you've got a couple of named players in here but like every all the rosters are made up like jpeg went and made the entire cast of seinfeld in his roster <laughs> um, oh that's so amazing it doesn't so it doesn't matter what the no, rosters are like it's a good arcade baseball game if they spend a couple bucks to keep the servers running that's all i hope is going to to continue but you know it's a 10 bucks on switch right now it's it's you can get a physical copy at gamestop for 20 for the the next gen systems brian Brian, of course, is playing it on the PS5 and and is upset Steam. on my behalf that I'm playing it on the Switch. But I'm like, I can. This is a game that, like it's not just about playing for the baseball league, which is which is fun. The baseball league takes a little longer than I probably would have liked. It takes like an hour to get through three six inning games, but like I just bang out a three inning game right. in ten minutes. Because again, like I just I need to be in, I need to be out, but I've got fifteen minutes. I want to get in. I want to I want to play a game. 
I can play Super Mega Baseball for 15 minutes. And again, Man, as I you didn't put that on the Rogue, you got that on the Switch. You I put it on the option? Switch. Yeah, I got on. The, I got on the Switch because guess what? That's where it was. And guess what? It works fine. There's nothing wrong. Again, like listen, I haven't. I have not looked at it on the it's Rogue. I haven't looked cool. at it on the uh, on the PS5. I'm not going to because I'll probably just cry. Um, <laughs> that, that's the rule. That's the rule, though. If it's not Nintendo exclusive, I'm not buying it on the Switch. Yeah, that, that, not, that's not unfair. Not this, I treated this one more like an indie game, though. I'm where, not buying the indie ones on the Switch. Like, if uh, you only have the Switch, like, cool. Like, <laughs> that's like go for it. I get even Prince, like Prince of Persia was actually built for the Switch. So, like, that's like one of the few times where it's like go for it, even though it's still a little bit slower. They've done comparisons, like you can see the video. Yeah, but like, if that's your only option, like, go for it. I want you to play the game. But if you got options, don't don't get that extra stuff on the Switch. It does. It's, Listen, it, doesn't it depends do on some of these games. This is where it's on sale, when it's on the right sale at the right time. So it is what it is. I know Ian saw that it's on sale on PC now because he was has because at one point it was on. It's been on sale on the Switch. I feel like every other week. At yeah, this pretty point, much. Just keep throwing it. I know Ian had like thought about it because it was still it was like forty at that time on PC. But it's but it's fun. Same thing. Like Brian and I are just screwing around in voice chat while we're we're goofing off, and like I, I beat in the first game, he just shellacks me the second and third game. I don't care. I'm having a good time. Yeah, I don't care. It's like it's like Mario Kart. I don't need to be good at it. I'm just here to have, fun, have, and here I, to have a good time. That Lori and I are the are the PC players, so we chatted in game. Oh well, aren't we fancy? Wasn't even planning on it. I was just there, and all of a sudden his voice came through. I was like, oh yeah, I forgot this is a thing. It's so fun. I'm, I play catcher on my team. So, and I, so in in, in okay. true cha- in true, what are your three fashion? You're smuggling in not only a, an entire, you're not smuggling a, a, <laughs> a, a string of games. You're smuggling in uh, an entire console uh, as your third game. Apparently, I I am. I I put Game Boy games as my third thing because I look at that. You have an actual Game Boy. That's a Game Boy Color right there, right? I think I saw the word. No, that's a that's a regular. No, this is this is the aesthetics and great podcasting here. But this is the clear. I, I have the gray brick, but I keep that one, that one delicate. Uh, but I've I've got the clear. This was like the end of the '90s. Everything had to be clear aesthetic. Oh yeah. See through. Yeah, Game I Boy. just, I just, I'm realizing because I went and played, I played Kirby, Dreamland Two, because we had to play it for the game because you put the Game Boy Quest. And I said, well, let me turn this thing on. And I played Dreamland 2, and I'm looking at it thinking, okay, I know I played this game because I played with with Rick, Rick, and I never remember the other two animals. Poor memory Rick. unlocked. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, I played this game. I was like, but it didn't look this way. Like, I didn't have that green screen, and I went, like, I started searching. And I was like, no, I had a Game Boy. Like, I thought I had the Game Boy Pocket, and I had to look up, yeah, that's a thing. There was the Game Boy Pocket. It was in between the Game Boy and the Game Boy Color. It used two batteries. It was, just, it was a smaller. Four. It was like a half of the size version of mm-hmm. the. Of I didn't the even know. I had no idea that I that's that I had like the Switch Lite or like version of of the Game Boy because they were like, yeah, it's less battery power, but it's a black and white screen as opposed to the green. It wasn't the Switch Lite because it 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 just ran better. <laughs> like it, yeah, it, it, it ran, ran less time because I had two batteries, but I didn't know. I had no idea that it was an original one, and so I'm playing, you know, and I'm playing the game and the. The, the switch online has like game boy pocket filter so i put that on and i was like oh look this is the game and i never had a game boy color because i people put game boy colors in and it would tell you you can't play this game because it's for game boy color only um and so i'm like wow i and i'm looking through the set and there's other kirby games and all and you know mario um the terrible super mario land game it's awful i'm sorry it's a it's not a good game I'm going to finish it. There's no save feature on it. It's not a good game. Super Mario Land is a bad game, Dan. I'm going to say it right I, now. I can't argue because, well, again, like, here there's you go. No, first of all, there's no save feature. So on a portable system, you're telling me on a portable system. You had to play the whole thing. Play or die. Play Take your pick. Levels. But, but it's a portable system. That's what doesn't make sense. The, the point of it is that I'm doing this when I'm moving somewhere. Because I don't have to sit down in front of my CRT TV and plugged in on channel three or channel four, depending on TV. I have a handheld moving thing. And now you're telling me I have to, the same system that put Pokemon on it, you couldn't, they couldn't put save a save file? I'm sorry, 1980, I'm sorry, 1989 wasn't ready for you, Ray. This is, this, I mean, I, 
and then on top of that, all right, fine. You know, Miyamoto is like, hey, I'm busy making the Super Nintendo right now. I can't, like, I can't do this with you. Like, that's fine. Wh- why did you think, you know what? That the fi- that fireball concept, stupid. Let's use a ball instead. And it'll and let's throw it at a completely unrealistic angle that doesn't hit anything. Well, uh, you know, and we'll, you know, let's go to a new land. Cool, right? What you know, Miyamoto's not doing it. We'll do a different land, make it a different thing. And Koopas, how about what about if they just explode when you hit them? Because they all have dynamite stuck under their shells, apparently, and you hit them. Everything there's there's nothing about that game makes sense. So you're not playing Super Mario Land. What what are you? <laughs> I'm glad you're playing it on the green screen. Like I think that was the best feature they put in there. It's like I swear to God, they better have the and they put the green screen filter they option did. in there. Thank God. I'm gonna finish it just because. But but for me is there's a couple Kirby games. There are other Kirby games. There's one on the Game Boy Advance that I want to play. Um the the I think it's the Rainbow Sword or something Sword. Um, I finished Kirby Dreamland Two. I, I've played Kirby's Dreamland. I've, I've played. Oh, Kirby's Kirby. not a series that we've done quests for either. Like I gotta, I gotta get not like a whole bunch. You know, Sakurai's I, I favorite know. Sun tagline or something like That's that. That could stay. I was gonna say maybe stack. I don't know. Do I just like Kirby more than everyone else? Yes. Uh, I'm gonna. It's gotta be. I'm gonna find out tomorrow. I'm by the way tomorrow being Monday since we're recording. Um, so the results will already be in, and I I already know. That I'm gonna have the unpopular answer because the question is, of uh, we have four series, which one disappears forever? And the topics are Donkey Kong, Kirby, Samus, uh, Metroid, and and Legend of Zelda. And I'm going and I'm gonna vote and say Donkey Kong is the series that has to go because it's the one that has the least effect on the rest of the world. There's better platforming games than the Donkey Kong series. The Legend of Zelda, obviously, just you know classic what it brought to gaming and then uh, the new games open world in kind of this new way metroid has you know the metroidvanias you have an entire it defined as it defined a genre it defines a genre Uh, the kirby first of all the kirby absorbing ability is a precursor to other games having this thing of using abilities and stuff there's other games that do it now because of kirby i'm going to say it and so the other one, the only one that doesn't really have like that stake and making other people do things is Donkey Kong. So I'm going to vote the Donkey Kong as a series has to go. And I'm going to get outvoted and everyone's going to vote for Kirby tomorrow. I know it. And I'm it's accepting a, it's it. It's a tough call. You've kind of sold me. I'm kind of curious to see how this goes tomorrow. Right? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's going to be our first ABCD quest as well. Pretty excited about that. But yeah, I think I, I think I like Kirby games more and I'm going to play Kirby on the Game Boy Advance. There's a couple that I've missed. Again, Game Boy Advance. I played like two games on that thing. I swear I just didn't know these games existed. So I'm gonna be like I'll be playing a bunch of those games. My my third, I'm I'm breaking it back up. Because you got a lot of different games on your list, and I can't tell what's your third. My third is Smash Brothers Ultimate. It's coming back, baby. It's coming back for me. It you know what? It's coming back. I I feel like it's picking up steam on channel three, first of all. And you know, th- thanks, thanks, High Flying Penguin, Weefu, yes. everybody else who's been like continuing to push the Smash Brothers there. Yeah, you know, I, I, I've, I've mentioned before, and you are more aware than anybody. I kind of burned out on the the culture side of it. I think Me too. that Me too. it was, it was. Uh, sorry, I, I love all of you. I promise, but I couldn't, I couldn't do any more events where people would or wouldn't show up, or I posted in four places like here's where it's going to happen, and then people showing up. Yep. 20 minutes after the check-in time being like, oh what am i i i, I yep. couldn't do it anymore it became too much of a frustration and it took the joy out of it so i had to just kind of i had to kind of just walk away and between one um like I'm, I'm helping out with something at the local library on friday night and you know i'm, I'm just trying to bang out two switches like separate user IDs, unlock all the characters. So I have just been grinding and I have been playing level nine characters with random. I'm, I'm set for random. They're set for random. And I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to better myself at the same time of like characters. I'm terrible at like, Hey, I have to play it now. I have to play it. I, you know, like I, I ended up with the, the inkling girl earlier and my, it was a mess. I got, I got, <laughs> if, you don't, if you don't know what you're doing, that's, that's one of the ones. If you don't know, you're so screwed on that character. I feel better now playing that character, 
having actually played some Splatoon. Like, I feel like that's one of those ones where, like, you actually have to <laughs> play Splatoon to get a feel for the character because you need to understand the ink management with that character and when to replenish your ink and when to use a grenade and when to use the roller, it's just, just interesting all that. But anyway, so like, so I'm, I'm doing that, which is just fun for me. It's just, there's some variety to it. And, and again, same thing. I can bang out like two matches in five minutes, unlock a character and then get back to whatever I have to do. The switch is just there, but like we had our first league match last week and we're doing two V twos and I'm paired up with Toots, who has maybe played like five Smash matches. Like he, he's not played much. Like admittedly, you know, the, you've done a great job seating everybody, and all of us who have played before are paired up with somebody who hasn't played much. It's it's fun. It's awesome. And Brago, yeah, I I I put up a fight against Brago. It was a respectable battle, if I do say so myself. Um, but even getting whipped with that, I still had a blast. It's just fun to play. Much like Kart, much like Mario Golf Super Rush would be dead and buried if it was not for this group playing with each other online and having fun. And Mario Kart 8 was a game that I had collecting dust until the dad gaming came along. And it's the same thing with Smash Brothers. Like, you're playing with a group you're having fun with. I want to get some arenas open and just kind of goof off again. Like, I'd like to do that. Time's not on my side, but but at least, like, the league is fun. Plug for the league on Channel 3. Come ch- come join the, the Smash group. There's quests that are appearing. There's stuff that's happening there. The beautiful, like, it was truly beautiful to see, not that Weefu's not a good person or anything, but, like, Weefu going out of his way to set up an event to say, like, hey, come come train with me. Lazy Pie did it before. Lazy Pie did it again. Like, seeing people coming out and just being like, listen, come. I will I will teach you. I will train you. They're there to to teach people fundamentals and how they do what they do and like there's a way they see the world that I I never could, which is a different thing altogether. But it's just so cool seeing seeing them just say, "Hey, come on in. I'll show you the ropes." You know that's what we did because because you know, I think Weefu's having um second child sleeping issues, so he set up that event and then and then a bunch of us got together and it was fun. We had a night where we were just chatting away. So we had an arena open. There was five or six of us there, um, and we're just chatting. And by the way, this is my plug to get Jedi to join the next Smash season. Because I know Jedi and I, we talked about it, that about his frustration with the game. And like, his frustration with Smash is, is mine with, with Cart. Like, like the online the, community is toxic because it, I, it is. <laughs> that, that, and I just like, I don't get the, the enjoyment out of Cart. Like, the, like the game frustrates the hell out of me. Like, it just, it, it gets me angry. Uh, but we're playing Smash, and he's and I told him, I was like, no, I can't relax in this game either. Like, we, we, you know, I'm here, we'll chat, we'll have a good time, but like playing the game, I was like, this is not relaxing to me to play Smash Brothers. Like, especially when I'm like when I'm working and playing, like it's a thing. Uh, but Jedi is actually Jedi is much better than I think he even gives himself credit for. Oh, he like, absolutely he, is. Jedi's absolutely. got a real Jedi has a real good understanding of what you should be doing in Smash. You know, the executions, the other is just the 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 practice part of it. You know, the you know, ridiculous amount of hours that we've put into the game. But he, he's got this real, he's got a good understanding of what you're supposed to be doing. And this is this is my plug for him to uh, to to join the next season. I mean, we had a great time. We played, Geodad showed up. Geodad played, Lazy play. Flink was there. Um, I know, I think I'm, I'm missing somebody in the group. Uh, Bombchu showed up. Um, yeah, because so there are Smash people who are time. showing up now that, like, haven't seen those names in a while. And they're coming mm-hmm. in, they're just hopping in. Having so we, fun. We had a fun time on Friday. Uh, Penguin and Ganon Slayer destroyed me and Trash Talk. I'm gonna, and I, I told Trash Talk, I'm gonna, the, the, the loss is on me. Like I, I gotta, I gotta play better. We can't. It was, it was a, it was a massacre, Ab- absolute massacre. So we, we did structure. You put honorable mentions in, and I, I think I kind of jacked two of yours by by bringing up what I did. But well, it's okay because it's yeah, it's the honorable mention is the channel three leagues and that's more because once work starts for me it becomes much more scheduled gaming like i know i'm playing brian um this you know you guys you'll hear this on wednesday but i'm him and i are chatting about playing tomorrow night our our baseball matchup so i gotta do that i'll go i'll set up my marvel snap matchup which i'm i I, only play marvel snap because of the channel three league it's the only reason i will i turn the game on fair warning i gotta warn you now again brian Brian and I had a competitive match and 
on our in our first game, and then I unlocked something in him that he just he mercy rolled me twice <laughs> ten out after that. So I don't know what I did, but just be warned that like don't don't sleep on Brian because he uh he he has a he has a competition in him. And it came well, out. I'm I'm laser focused in in Super Mega Baseball after after going down three games and. Uh, to Mark Lark. Mar- yeah, Mark uh, Mark Lark. Uh, he's he's mortal. He's not immortal. My my oh, my my goal is to to come back championship. I expect him to be in the championship. I come back championship and, and and come battle it out. My closer. I got. I have to have a talk with him because um, he's had two save opportunities and he's blown both saves. I I won three. I won all three games against Adelorian. My closer blew the save. I had to come back at the bottom of the inning to to win the game. And and then I blew the slave against Mark Clark, which still haunts me. So uh, oh for two on, on save attempts here. It's not it's not looking good for my clothes right now. We got we gotta figure something out. But channel three leagues like I gotta play my baseball game for the week. I have to play my snap game. I'm gonna play my smash matchup. Wednesday we've got party night. Saturday is our C three C S. As and like that just that's that sets me up to I know all right this night I'm doing this and that way I don't get frozen thinking like, oh, what do I play? I only have two hours. You know, I'm going to go to bed. I got to get up for work. And instead of thinking so much, it's kind of like I get I schedule it out. And I like, I like having that. I like coming into the Snap League as an agent of chaos that like I've watched. I think it's 022 and White Thunder have done a 10 cube. You know, they call it a friendly match in there, but that's how we do our competitions. And they've taken about 35 minutes to get through a through a 10 cube match. Uh uh-uh, uh, baby, I'm snapping. Like I, I will snap as soon as I humanly possibly can. Infocynic almost got me. Like I, it ended up. I had two left. He had, he had none left in the end. But like, Infocynic almost got me. But like, their matches take 35 minutes. Mine take like eight. <laughs> oh, <I'm- laughs> I, I don't snap. I don't snap right away like I do in in regular Marvel Snap. Like you come in, I am snapping on you, and I will whip you. And I loved that Deadpool league they had last week because people weren't running away and they were actually stepping up. But like, no, no, I'm going to kill you now. You're, 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 I, I get a run of people, but it's, it's funny because that I still make it a 10 minute match because either I'm going to kill you or uh, you're going to take all my cubes quickly. One way or another, this is going to end. My deck has worked out. I'm two for two so far. Sura Mike, uh, Sura Mike still, he, he's jokingly, fr- he's not truly frustrated, but he, uh, I uh I have a discard deck that I ran against Suro Mike and I you know destroyed Hella Carrier which fills your card your deck up with random cards and I used Leech which kills uh at the time it killed um all the reveal activities which he lost because of that like that that set of moves caused him to lose <laughs> that night they updated and nerfed whatever the change was they made to Leech he would not have lost. <laughs> so I was like, oh, thank God I played him like three hours before they nerfed it. And, uh, but anyway, it's it's a fun. That's another fun league. There, there's I a lot of fun them. leagues that are popping up of just like, listen, it may be six people. It may be, you know, like golf just did a I, I couldn't pay. I couldn't do golf gangs because like, again, a night like tonight, like, nope, I'd have mm-hmm. I'd have missed yep. it. But like they had what, like 20 some people they drafted in. Yeah, they had, they had uh, teams of five. They drafted. For it, like there, there may be six people, there may be twenty six people in a league. Um, and the C three CS, I'm excited for. Like I'm, I'm, I'm not kicked out of any Discord servers yet, but I'm trying. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm sitting back and just, yeah, gonna watch. I'm just gonna sit back and watch you. It'll be fun. Yeah, you're, you're, you're along for I'm the just, ride. Uh, it's like I got this. I got this one. This one's me, I'm dog. Just, I got yep, this. I'm just running production. I'll run the production and and show whatever, and and that's it. Hey, I want to I want to uh, shout out Tetris ninety nine because. Uh, you got yes. your Invictus win. Oh you got your Invictus win, Ray. I, I yelled. I've been. I mean, this is. Yeah, I had not. I had not focused in on getting the Invictus win. So it's yeah. It's I've, I've had. I I think I have. I only have less than ten regular wins because I just go on like runs every couple months and I turn the game on and I'm like, oh, I want to play again and like I'll get a win. It's it's not it's not out of this world to get a win like the regular ninety nine, but it takes a bunch. Like you have to you gotta get lucky to some degree. I, th- I probably have eight wins. And then the tagline came out for the Invictus one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've been, it was I, probably two weeks. I, I, I skipped a lot of other games and just sat with my Switch handheld while my wife would, what we would watch, we watched MasterChef and I'm there just round after round. Second place, second place. Se- one, 
people over people don't know until over. they see it because like you can't play Invictus until you've won Tetris mm-hmm. 99. Then they they're like, "Oh, we have this other mode where you can play Champions Just the mode." Mm-hmm. And like people have watched in the times where I've streamed, they're like, how do you even do this? Because when you're in the top 10, the blocks are just, the, there is no time. The block is just there and you have to move it and there is no getting left or right. You have to try to pile things up. So there's, like you said, there's a degree of like having to not be too high where someone can come kill you in one shot because they've got triple, you know, and you got can't all four be, stars. But you them. can't be too low either. Right. Because otherwise because then- you don't have enough moves to offset. Mm-hmm. And kill somebody and else by that. Launch point. them at you. Yeah, you got to You got to like set it up. It's almost like the, the times where I've won. I probably have to go back and look where I have. I've got medium builds, but they're junk. They're not where like mm-hmm. I'll hit it. Uh, I can use my my long piece and just drop a Tetris. In. Run. Yep. It's like twelve lines I clear separately that I just keep nickel and diming them back. That like I'm taking away, taking away, taking away. Like there's. There's a bit of luck that has to happen at the end. In addition to like, no, you need skill. It's not all luck. You need mm-hmm. skill, but you also need the luck to. Yeah, there's some to plan play to it. There. I'd like to. I like to shout out. I switched my background, and I think that's what finally got me to win. I've been I've been sitting on the original Mario Brothers background forever because I hated changing the backgrounds because the colors changed slightly, and it would mess with how I could see everything. So I, I stuck. The with pieces that one. can be a problem too, though. So, but I, so I switched it. I I got a Kirby background and that's actually the one I won with. And the Kirby, the Kirby sound effects were, are so good. And that's I, what knew, I was going to say, there's something to the sound effects and the music though. Mm. Like there, there's some that have terrible too. pieces, but like Skyward Sword, I've probably had the most wins with. Strangely enough, I'm like, the music just kind of works <laughs> for the Skyward Sword. Is, is terrible. When you get that top 10, they, they give you, you know, end of level, uh, something like Bowser stage, but like also like running out of time music. Yeah. So you're but, like, stressed on that. Like you, you. Yeah. You're, you're, you're pre deter You're already a Pavlovian to, to yeah. use that phrase again. You already got a stress response to that. Exactly. It, do, it actually does. It's a terrible. It doesn't help you. I switched to the Kirby. I knew, I knew when I was getting the win. Because I, I I was I was like KO. Okay, I had sixteen KOs. I was not. I took out it was top five. I took out all like the four before after me. Like I I, I felt it happening. And How I, long yeah. until the adrenaline wore off is the question. I I, I screamed. I screamed but, but, in the middle of the TV show. My it's a wife, good twenty thirty minutes before you're yeah. finally like. Whew. Oh yeah, <sighs> and like my wife knew. She knew like I've been like stressing over this. I would I'd I'd lose around and just like like just yell out curses in the middle of the show. She look at me, she's like, "Are you like close one again?" Because you know, if I if I lose one, and I'm like thirty something. You know, it's bad round. Like I don't say anything, and then I'll do it and just and just go off. And she's like, "Oh, you were close again, weren't you?" It's like, "Uh huh, yeah." And it's like, so I I screamed. She gave me like a pat on the back. She was like, "Great job, you did it." I was like, "Yeah, I freaking did it finally." It was a it's a big big moment. It's it's hard. It's I, I, I'm just gonna shout out one more before we go into the future because I think you, your honorable your 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 honorable was just the leagues, but I want to shout out Bloons TD six and Netflix for like throwing it on my phone. You're shouting out Netflix gaming? I I am. It exists because there's just stuff there. But like I I could just play ten minutes of that thing in there, set up a tower, and like. A week and a half later, I've got like a I'm on level 150 and just chaos is happening on screen. I have no idea what's going on anymore. But like, again, I can just bang smoking. it out on my phone. I'm waiting in line for something. Whatever, it's there. It's done. Does smoke start coming out of your phone at any point with that game? No, but I like that's I I made that meme the other day of uh, or yesterday I guess yesterday the vampire now, virus like, right. Like yeah, like I I was playing it. I'm like my phone is my phone is physically getting hot, and I am sitting in air conditioning, <laughs> like with the stuff that's happening on this screen here. I can't imagine like somebody playing on a on a moderate phone by comparison. Their phone probably just shut down. Like it's it's funny. So like what what, what is that? They made a game not compatible with mobile gaming do you you need to play it somewhere else to not well no it was it was the same with vampire survivors too though so like vampire survivors i played on my phone i didn't play it on my switch i didn't play it on playstation or pc like i played that on my phone and you get to the end game of you know like you're at minute 28 of a 
vampire survivors around there's just chaos on screen like i would feel my phone would be heating up again like it's it's getting angry that like there's so much happening at one time on the screen and it would it'd get hot it would get it get a little spicy on that phone but it's just there's a lot happening on the screen and, the, and it I, I i don't slow down i don't i don't there's no frame rate drop it handles it probably than this better than the switch would but like no that that processor's just smoking in there it's it's gonna catch fire soon the only comparable thing I have, and it's definitely a defect of the games, but it de- but I to me it just became part of it, and I always think it's funny when it happens. The Mega Man games will slow down if there's too many projectiles on the screen at once. Oh, or like and, it, and, and that was with the that was on the original cartridges too, because I remember it. You would dash, and all of a sudden you're like slow mo dashing because there's missile coming behind you, and you know there's an enemy. Yeah, you're late. Yeah, cycle yeah. coming through. Chaos. Yeah, yeah, and, and all of a sudden the game slows down for a couple frames. And like I don't know, and it happened on it happened on X3, and it's definitely not a good thing. It's happening is you know the the game is not handling correctly, but it just became like like a piece of the game. And I always think it's super, I think it's cool when it happens. That's the only thing I can think of it. We, your future game, I've got nothing. You're gonna, you're going ISO on this one. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna dish you the ball because you're on, you're alone on your future game, man. All right, here's here's the, the future game, uh, Mario Party Jamboree. And uh, again, I am not a big fan of Mario Party. Like original game. What are you uh, doing then? <laughs> listen, uh, the original first, the original game when you, I, you turned on those N64 graphics, uh, it's rough that first one but it's like but there's mini games in it that are super memorable and it's just funny because the first one doesn't have any quality of life stuff that the newer ones have you know you know the newer games the arrow will always point in the correct way to go to the star and just things that count out and makes it but that first one's tough but there's the mini games are like there's some great mini games in that first one and then the second game to me is the best mario party with the costumes and the wild wild westland uh, but then after that, like to me, they're just like, I don't know, they, they frustrate me. We want to play some mini games. Fine. My, my wife likes them way more than I do. My son will play and we'll play some rounds. But this Jamboree thing, I mean, there's there's something about it. There's there's some energy to it. The previews of the show, this, this kind of like Battle Royale 20-something person mode. You're going to play online against people and you're just playing rounds of mini games. Like, like, like that's all I care about Mario Party. I don't care about the maps and hitting the the stupid die and getting these items that hopefully you use, but you don't end up using any of them because you get three like reverse dies and you never use them. But I mean, but this this mini game aspect and playing. Yeah, you started you started selling me on this mini game battle royale, then you started reminding me why I can't. I I I just I'm done with Mario. Yeah, I don't like I don't the map stuff. Whatever. I'm there's people. I'm sure people like it. They do their co op gaming have have a great time i'm in it for this online aspect and i feel like it's we're gonna hit something really good here to finish out you know the switch life cycle essentially which finish out i don't know they keep putting out these hits and like the, the, these games like no no we're still putting games on the switch and they're gonna be great games and we're we're continuing it we're we're still saying that metroid prime 4 is on switch um, it will be don't worry I'm, it will be <laughs> so i mean there's you know they're putting them out they're saying hey no we've got we're making games you're gonna have the mario and luigi um what is the brotherhood brothership game? brothership and i know and that's big for a lot of people i didn't even i didn't, again didn't know those games existed play that but with this one where you're doing your game people. boy advance time play the one that's on the game boy advance on the nintendo online there's another one that's it's, it's, there's like all these games i didn't even know about I, even even mario tennis on game boy color which i had to i had to look up the timing it comes out after the N64 one. So you have Mario Tennis on the N64. Still a great game. Great game. Can still play it. It's the same buttons. Every single tennis game plays the exact same way, and I love it. And then they they had a Game Boy Color. It's the same game. With less, they don't, the Mario's not in it for some weird reason. Um, but they, I, and their, their story mode is like create a character, I think. Like create your own character and kind of move boost your skill over time yeah, I that's what the it. golf was on the 64 i remember that yeah yeah but um but yeah no but the game I, I turned it on for a quick round it's the same game as the 64 they literally just threw it onto the game boy color i had no i'm like if i had known that i, I probably would have had it and played a couple rounds and got you know grabbed a link cable and played with someone else 
back when you had to connect them with the link cable that you hoped nobody ran in between and knocked both your Game Boys out of your hands and all that fun stuff. But uh, yeah, no, Mario Party Jamboree, there's there's something there. And I, I'm going to be in on it, and I'm going to be pushing Channel 3 people to play it. And But overall, there's a lot of stuff. Even when you said Mario Tennis, um, Mario Golf's got like 20 people playing. Like a lot of that is Jedi pushing and pushing. Yeah. But a, but a big part of that is also that we have the Channel 3 site. And it's just, just, just this active place to talk about and post games. The chat's and always popping off. The, there's stuff happening, and you post it, and all of a sudden, someone posts something, and it gets, and someone sees it, and they start thinking about something else, and it's just, and you start connecting these dots, and all of a sudden, you've got 20 people playing Mario Golf again. And all of a sudden, you've got, you know, like 40 people playing Mario Kart who've, from all these different places. Playing because Super we'll, Mega Baseball Four. We got we have twenty people playing Super Mega Baseball. We have two leagues. We have so many people that there's a major and a minor. There's, there's rele- there are relegations that are going to happen and promotions. Yeah. Playing and, and European like, rules and like that's that's what happens. That's what happens because there's a place for it to happen, and you're not all separated into you know little pockets or whatnot. You know, and, and it's like that because like that's not what Discord is for. And Discord, it's like, I use Discord every day. Like, it's great. It does what it needs to do. You've got the chat. Like, it's very smooth and all the stuff it's supposed to do. But it doesn't, but it's not like the posting stuff community kind of thing. Like, it's not, it's not what it's made for. Like, that, it's just not like it does not its goal, essentially. But like, at this, like, there's something here and you're seeing it more and more. Just groups are getting together and they're saying, hey, why don't we just make a league? And boom, and hey, come join our league. And it's like, yeah, sure. I'll play a game a week. Why not? Well, I can't so, wait till Ray tries to get it. this. Is Ray going to uh, to to Mario Strikers us again with this one? Then and no, there's some, no. There's we're getting a league ready, and and like we're still being square there's, in the square in the junk. Uh, there's no, there's no Strikers League happening, and like, oh, oh, because and there's so many reasons that I've gone over a million times. But another, it's is Jam. Um, um, is Jam- so you're saying Jamboree will not be Strikers 2.0? I, I hope so. Oh gosh, I hope not. It can't be. No, it's no way. This it's too simple to do to screw up. Um, the problem with strikers is that strikers is not an easy. You can't just pick up strikers and play. It, it's not an easy game. There's a lot of mechanics in that game. Even this version that basically moved back to the original game with better graphics, essentially. Like that's that's really what it, what it comes down to. It forgot to bring the joy and left it empty. But okay, oh yeah, gosh. sure, yeah. But yeah, but it's not an easy game to pick up. Like I if I turn it on now. I'll get my butt kicked for a couple rounds online before I remember the nuances. How do I lob this pass correctly? I, you know, how do I bounce the soccer ball off the wall so I can hit it over the goalie correctly, launch it in? Can I get my my angles correct? So like that that's another part. It's 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 a hard game entry wise. Like people can't just pick it up and play. You can pick up Mega Baseball and play. You can pick up Mario Tennis and play. Is like. You can pick up yeah, cart you, and play. You played NES baseball. You can at least take a run at Super Bring yeah. Baseball Four. That that's that's actually another big problem with Strikers. It's you, it is not easy to pick up and play. You have to practice. Ray, I got. I'm going to shout out the Legend of Zelda: Echoes of Wisdom now. You the, the rumors of a Zelda game were out there, and I'm just happy that they didn't just waste this like uh, plasticky looking in a good way game engine or whatever you want to call it they built for remaking Link's Awakening from the Game Boy and they're mm-hmm. they're running it back and this is a perfect way to do it and I'm excited for whatever it is whatever it is I'm on board let's see let's see how this is going to go and I don't know if the ESRB spoiled something for me for it or not I don't know but I'm also kind of curious to see because how many games have we had now where Nintendo's hidden 40 30 40 50 percent of a game <laughs> behind it <laughs> So wait, wait what, what what rating did they give the game? No, it's not the rating. It's the descriptors in the rating that that what this what may have revealed something. Skip ahead to like or end it now. But there's comments in the ESRB about Link playing as Link specifically. Oh, so I'm kind of curious if there's if you're playing as Link in a shadow world at the same time, or it may just be you know Link's opening. I, I think it seems like it's the end of uh, Link to the Past. It looks like, 
that it kind of picks up where Link to the Past uh, left off. I don't know, but again, we're getting into Zelda timelines and all my, my Zelda encyclopedias are back in the back room of the basement. I can't break that out. And it's funny because there's two, it feels like there's two thought processes. There's, there's the group that are all in on Legends of the Timelines and like, you know, and are accept what's been told to them and, you know, the one line into the triple into back into the breath of the wild, bringing it all together, you know, whichever way you want to like believe it's brought together. And then the, the group that says, no, there was never a timeline. This is stupid. And Nintendo even pretended to put it, just give us Zelda games. Cause they're all different. We get it. You just pick the same name for the guy and you just like, so they're just different games and that's okay. There's stuff. It's kind of like the Quentin Tarantino thing though. We're like, People say there's a oh, Quentin Tarantino, Tarantino connected universe, universe that started, yeah, that 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 basically started when uh, Inglorious Bastard end, Bastards ends, and that's how you get the rest of the movies. Now, of course, Hateful Eight's like before that, but that's and, and Django's before that, but that's that's mm-hmm. neither here nor there. But like, no, it's 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 kind of like that. We're like, okay, you know, fine, it is what it is, and there's enough stuff in the Zelda games. You're like, okay, I can see. There's there's a modicum of it. I, I don't know if Miyamoto really went in saying like Zelda two will be the here in this timeline. I don't think that's the case, but I think it's kind of like uh, what's Dave Filoni coming in in Star Wars and patching together like I make the prequels make sense now because I've had twenty years of Clone Wars to justify the prequels existence. Now all the people's Ray age thinks Ray's age think the prequels are good, and that's kind of what somebody did over at Nintendo with. Hey, let's- Zelda, they said we could piece this together now that we've had 40 years of uh, 35, 40 years of Zelda to figure this out. 38 years Listen, now. As a non Star Wars fan, not because not it's not good. It's just just wasn't one I got into. I pre- those three movies to me are like fantastic. You like, see, it's, as, this is a year age kid, thing. I'm, we're not yeah, doing this as a, now. As a kid, pod racing, and then it was in the arcade. I could pod race at the arcade, and I could pod that race. That Nintendo 64 game's 64. awesome. I'm telling you, so like, like to me, that trilogy, yeah, I, I, I think it's amazing. The, I love these, sand. I don't care what these, Anakin has to say. I love sand. <laughs> these light swords and people, and they spin them around that are different colors. Like, <sighs> what are we doing now? What are we like? We we don't have a we don't have a Dan, runway to your, land the plane, do we, Ray? No, no, Dan. What's what? What feature are you enjoying? I, I, and I'll go first, so I'll give you time to think about it. What feature are you currently enjoying on Channel I can, Three? I. You got I can one? tell you exactly what mine is. Okay, go ahead. What's your favorite? Right I've now? been going nuts um, with this season. Joel added in. I, you know, I've, I've been pushing for like the libraries needing con- connectivity mm-hmm. for game series, and it's been a comment from comments from people before. But want to be able to pull up like the Legend of Zelda and see all of the Legend of Zelda and see those games are connected. And there's a lot of work to do for this now. But if you go into games and you hit all games, you just look at all the games that are rated, you know, 30 plus ratings on them when you filter it. Like you can see now we've got we've got series in there now. You can pull the Mario Kart series and see all the games in U.S. release order in the Mario Kart series. And between that, between the uh, auto importing of everything that someone on Channel 3 owns on Steam now getting automatically added to the library. We were doing those kind of semi-manually. Mm-hmm. And like we, we get, I mean, we, we could do, you know, I got through like what, 200 of them, I think in a, like a month and a half or something like that while doing other games. But Joel hit a button. Like he, he's been kind of working in the background. It added 1200 games in, in about six hours. And it's continuing to add games in every day as someone connects their steam library. And there's more stuff happening behind the scenes with Steam that's going to be even cooler in the grand scheme of things. But the other piece of the library is, you know, I, Joel and I put together a spreadsheet of every video game developer and publisher that we could find. And there's still a bunch of indies that I haven't even accounted for, but there, we added in 1,500 game publishers, developers, and independent game studios and in the library, we're connecting all of them together now. So you can pull up Capcom and not, not immediately, but you can see every Capcom game is the idea. You can see, you know, mega cat studios who we had on a few weeks ago, every mega cat game. When you go to mega cat studios is connected to, to the publisher. So you can see like, Oh, I liked 
uh, you know, Five Nights at Freddy's has been number four on Steam. They're into the pit game. Like in all of Steam, it's been on number four. It's like, okay, I, well, I like that. Let me see what else Mega Cat did. I can click on Mega Cat Studios or I can click on, you know, into the pit, click on Mega Cat Studios, and then I can see all of their games there and link to Steam and link to see where where those games are available. And just adding this like air of legitimacy, they're, um, you know, it, it's something that's making things better. It's in the background that few people notice, but I think it's something that's like showing people like, no, oh, we're here. It's legit. There's, there's stuff to back it up. And uh, it's, there are things that we're adding to the channel three library that you can't find information on elsewhere on the internet. It's like, we are the only source for some of these indies. We're the only source for some of these older games that uh, no one else has information on. So it's, it's, I, I'm nerding out how cool it is. And that's probably me thing. Uh, mine will be shorter because I, I I can't. But I can't. I mean, I'm refusing to talk about it too much. Um, but I, I I think everybody has this option now to to follow quests, right? That's that's not just an us option, right? Okay, so you can follow you can follow a quest if you just want to see every time somebody responds to it. And all, all I'll say is that I I follow many quests for reasons, and that's that's gonna be that's really the end of it. But that that has made my life um, extremely easier being able to follow quests. So that that's my current season nine feature that I like that I'm big on. So he doesn't get a surprise as we're wrapping up near midnight to find out that Cody Davis snaked the crown from underneath of him. <laughs> Cody Davis is setting up um, is going to be at Rocket League at RLCS in Texas, right? He's Texas, literally gearing up. Yeah, Fort, Fort Worth. Yeah. That's right. So he's going to be there. So if you want to go meet up with Cody Davis, he's been posting about it. Uh, I think Jay Sue and a couple others are going as well to the RLCS over there. So that's happening. So yes, he's not. No, no Kirby. No Kirby is happening at the moment with Cody. Thank goodness. So I Land this plane, Ray. Land this plane. I, work. I mean, with that, we've made it to the special What Are Your Three Back to School edition. The you can find a podcast. Oh, I don't even have this written out. I'm gonna try my best. You can find a podcast at c3.gg slash podcast, dropping every Wednesday morning at 3 33 a.m. Eastern on all the major platforms, including Spotify, Google, no YouTube podcast, and wherever you can find your podcast. Our title music is by Castle Garden. I'm Ray. Dan puts it together. Joel's the executive producer. I don't have a script in front of me, and I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Have a good day. You nailed it. It's all good. We'll do that. <laughs> that was fun. Good job. Yeah. There we go. We needed, oh. needed, some, needed something there. Fortnite, Fortnite's crashing on me, and I, I may need to reinstall it again. Uh, Mario Brothers. Like the original wow. the original Mario, Mario Brothers. Brothers. Somebody pick Super Mario World, which will be the winner. Nice. Somebody, somebody got... That's the closest we've gotten. But we're up to... That's, we are that's only to, one... That's like one degree away from Kevin Bacon right there. That's that's easy. That's well, close. What's, what's funny is we are up to. Let me start to the most recently added. Is game number seven thousand two hundred sixty six? Nice. So uh, let me let me cheat and see what this Mario Strikers time trial is that JPEG is doing. Get a two goal lead as quickly as you can. Oh, interesting. Uh, interesting. In a like four-minute match, CPU skill easy. Items on, hyper strike on. Hyper strike's not the way to go with this. You have to hit two quick goals. Hyper strike will take way too long. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Oh, CPU easy? You can do that. Oh, you can do that fast. At least I can do that fast. I don't know if anyone else can. Geo did it. Geo knows how to play that game <laughs> back when we were playing it. All right, where are we with these quests for the week? All right. Top 10 Sega Genesis games. Another system I just never played. Oh, yeah, that's right. I, I have, I'm, I'm finishing those up, too. I went through and I updated every Madden search term to make sure it's findable. Oh, were they hiding? That entire series is in. 
Well, like, you know, like, how would you search for Madden? Would I search for Madden 12? Madden, mm. no, you like Madden NFL. Does this one have an apostrophe? Is this one right. 2015? Is yeah, this one yeah, 2005? Yeah. Then there's, of course, 2014 where they went with Madden 25. But guess what this year is, right? Madden 25. EA Sports Madden NFL 25 this year. So it's, I just went and <laughs> univer- oh, unified man. those. I'm so happy I never, I never got into Madden. I think I owned one Madden game. I have a uh, Dennis proposition I have to punch in. Channel 3 is the future.